So Jenny, tell us what you're doing in New York. I am in New York to run the marathon. I am extremely excited about the opportunity to work with Timex and to uh, raise some money for the New York Roadrunners youth programs. So how are you raising money through the marathon? Timex is donating a dollar for every person that I pass. So I'll start dead last out of 47,000 people and uh, as many people as I pass, they will donate a dollar. Okay. Are you ready? Have you I'm been ready. training? I'm ready. I've been training. I have a, I'm coming off the birth of my second son, so he's four months old. So we had a kind of a condensed crash training course, but um, 12 weeks of hardcore training and I'm, uh, I feel ready. I'm excited. The nerves are starting to flow in and butterflies are coming with all of the buzz in the city, but I'm excited. So you retired from professional softball last year. <laughs> are you still involved in the game at all? I am, most definitely. I'm on um, the advisory board for the league, the National Pro Fast Pitch League, and um, I run camps and clinics all over the country and, um, you know, help be an ambassador, an ambassador for the game in, in any and all ways and just helping to hopefully grow the game and keep the opportunity out there and hopefully mm -hmm. expand the pro league. And, you know, I, I love the game and I hope to be able to try to give back some of what it's given me. You know, I saw you that you'd recently written a book, Throw Like a Girl. Mm -hmm. I love the title. Thanks. Very catchy. What inspired you to write the book? Well, I think being a female athlete, there's just not much out there. And it was something that I always wanted to do was just kind of share my story and my journey of growing up being a female athlete and uh, the life lessons that I've learned through sport and, um, you know, dealing with adversity, dealing with failure, all of those great things. And hopefully, inspire and encourage um, young athletes out there. I, I feel that over the last decade or so, I feel like there have been so many you know, inspiring female athletes that have gotten a lot of attention. Look at yourself, look at Mia Hamm, the Williams sisters, you know, these big personalities. And now I look around the professional uh, landscape today with women athletes, and I don't see those people out there. You know, they're not getting the attention, at least in this country. Mm. What, what do you think's going on? I, I, I don't get it. I don't know, I think in so many ways it's grown so much and you know there's definitely still room for it to grow and we have the WNBA, we have you know pro soccer trying to um, hold on but we just coming off the World Cup was you know awesome to watch. So I think you know the Abby Walmax and mm -hmm. you know there's definitely you know the new faces and right. you know, Hope Solo now representing soccer so they're definitely there and I think with the Olympics coming you'll have those you know new faces of um, female sports, but it's exciting to see how much it's grown just, you know, since I started playing and I, I hope that it continues to grow and provides more opportunity, more media coverage and more attention and um, basically just, you know, one day it would be nice that, to see, you know, um, equal opportunity for men and women within sports. So what's next for Jenny Finch now? Right after next. the mar after Sunday, after yeah, you get through right and now, and it's just uh, me and this watch hitting the <laughs> pavement of New York City for the next, you know, 26 miles. But um, you know, I don't know, kind of one one thing at a time. But I'm just going to enjoy being a mom after this race is over because it's been kind of a crazy last four months having my son and trying to run a lot within that. So, um, but I do camps and clinics, speaking engagements, and um, hopefully promoting my book some. And uh, you know, you never know what what's going to come next. So Jenny, this is very important. Uh oh. Any tips for the Forbes softball team? We're not good. We need help. Okay. What can we do? We can put together a clinic or something, maybe. I don't know. Okay. It's kind of hard to talk over. We need to get out on the field and uh -huh. get to work, play hard. Okay. Practice. You guys practice? Practice. No, we don't practice. Maybe that that, that <laughs> might be <laughs> that might be where you're missing out. Maybe maybe schedule some practices. Okay, practice. I got to remember yeah. that. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Great.